Hey guys, this is Taka here. Uh, I'm just going to be kind of talking about my plans for Fallout 4. Uh, I'm going to be kind of going through the build, the uh, the stat allocations, and, and a lot of the abilities that that can we're gonna uh, that we're gonna take into the release release of the game. Um, so let's see if I can recall this from memory. Uh, I'm going to go five into strength, none into perception, ten into endurance, none into charisma, six into intelligence, one into agility, and three into luck. Now we're going to head on over to the perk chart and kind of talk about why I assigned these, what they mean, what they're for. So in the perk chart, strength, kind of uh, it's your ability to carry things, damage with melee attacks. Um, so we'll go ahead and, and get right into it. Uh, rank 1 gives me 20% more damage from punching. Rank 2 gives me melee weapon damage. Rank 3 gives me access to uh, rank 1 armor mods. Um, th these do stack up, so they, they rank 2, rank 3, rank 4, etc. Um, the fourth option gives us access to the forge and melee weapon mods. I'm not going to be using that too much, but I do want to touch on the fifth strength, which is the reason that I put five points into this. Uh, this is going to be increased damage with heavy guns, uh, with the final rank being uh, doubling your damage with automatic weapons. Um, so that was something that I thought was really cool, and then we'll kind of touch on a couple other things that play off of that as we go through the other perks. Now for perception, uh, this is kind of your ac your ability to um, detect things, kind of see uh, your weapon accuracy, uh, awareness around you kind of situation. Didn't invest too much in this. Um, sniper rifles as well, wasn't really interested in that, kind of want to be uh, play that a little bit different. And once we go through endurance here, I'll kind of outline um, why I didn't put any into that. Um, so for rank one for endurance, we're going to get general uh, damage resistance. Rank 2 is going to allow us to take less radiation from eating and drinking. Rank 3, we're going to get a buff to maximum health. Rank 4, we're going to be 50% less likely to get addicted when consuming chemicals. Number 5, we won't take any damage from uh, any radiation damage from swimming and we'll be able to breathe underwater. So that'll be pretty cool, maybe open up some, some interesting areas. Number six, we will get some radiation resistance. Seven, our limbs will take reduced damage. An adamantium skeleton, I mean, the, the name right there, I was sold, pretty awesome. Number eight is an interesting one. Uh, we actually are able to feast on mortal flesh. Um, <coughs> so we will be able to consume corpses to restore health. Uh, pretty, pretty cool there. Uh, number nine, we're not gonna take any radiation damage and it will now regenerate lost health. And lastly, uh, a little bit underwhelming, I think. Not 100% not sure how much plus two strength and endurance is, is going to really give me. Um, since I've already got so much in it, that seems to be kind of a, maybe an underpowered lower tier. Uh, but nonetheless, pretty cool. Plus two strength and endurance kind of during, during the daytime. Going back up to Charisma, didn't put any points into this. This is things like reducing prices at vendors, being able to kind of influence people and persuade them. Uh, not kind of how I wanted to play the game based on my allocation so far. Um, so far we kind of touched on just real general tankiness and automatic weapon damage. Uh, next up is intelligence. Uh, we did put six points into intelligence. So the first one uh, allows us to path uh, to the quest target as displayed in VATS. So it will kind of lead us um, where we need to go, which is pretty cool. Uh, we will restore uh, some lost health from stim packs and uh, remove radiation. Don't really need this one so much because we're so heavy in endurance, but uh, we'll get to why we're so deep in intelligence. Um, rank 1 gun mods. Uh, so pretty cool, something that kind of plays off a little bit of the, the heavy weapon damage that we've got and the tankiness. So part of the reason that we went into intelligence here. Number 4, hack advanced terminals. So definitely something I wanted to pick up. Want to be able to kind of hack those tournaments and uh, and kind of get the the extra from that. Um, we will be able to salvage. Not sure how useful that's going to be. We do have a lot of weapon mods and blacksmithing, so that'll probably be pretty useful. And lastly, number six here, um, we'll be able to take full advantage of advanced technology, uh, and and access rank one high tech mods. So kind of plays off some of the things that we've got already. Being able to use those high tech mods. Uh, in addition to what we've uh, what we've already done with our general tankiness and automatic weapon damage. Next up is agility. We did put two points into agility. 
Um, so we will do more damage with pistols, and we'll also do more damage with automatic weapons. So this is kind of where we start to get into a little bit more of the feel. Uh, I've got automatic weapon damage from agility, I've got automatic weapon damage from strength, and I am a tanky son of a bitch from endurance. Uh, lastly up here we've got luck, um, basically kind of your ability to find hidden wealth and, and critical shots and, and things that are pretty interesting. Um, the first one is we'll find more bottle caps and containers. The second one is we'll find more munitions, again for all those automatic weapons that we'll be firing. And lastly, the bloody mess. This one was just so cool, I really couldn't pass it up. Um, you get 5% bonus damage, that means when enemies will sometimes explode into gory red paste. That just sounds awesome. So I had to pick that up. Um, so that kind of wraps up um, what I'm trying to do here, how I'm trying to play Fallout 4. Essentially a sort of juggernaut automatic weapon type build. I've got a lot of stacking automatic weapon damage, I've got a lot of resistance and tankiness and uh, ability not to take damage from kind of the outside world, the radiation, and, and things like that. So, hope to see you guys uh, on, on the release day. Uh, we'll be streaming as soon as it's, uh, as soon as it's available, so uh, thanks for listening to my character build.